Aww, I really like that bounce house. <clears throat> I was hoping to take it home with me. Ah! Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, steam. And here we reach overhead. It's funny how they actually try to uh, mimic the uh, the final uh, dungeon in uh, Zelda the music. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I think it actually is exactly ripped from the game, I think. Well, if it is, then uh, whoever does Zelda will have rounds to sue, apparently. <laughs> Unless they have it taken care of, which I'm pretty sure they do. Do, 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 do. I really expected Tetris to be in here. You think that Tetris would be somewhere in a Deadpool game? I mean, seriously, if there's one thing that people uh, parody a lot, it's Tetris. I will say this, all these little fucking things, I hate them. I hate them so much. Hello? Peter! Hey, I was just running around my game and all of a sudden I noticed that... Uh, yeah, Deadpool, that's what happens when we run out of budget, so fuck off. What the hell is the Let purpose of all those 8-bit little creatures I jumping around you anyway? I don't know. I really don't know. They don't give you an achievement or anything. And yes, I'm pretty sure this is actually what happened. Nolan North decided to become Deadpool completely and stay at home and put, do 1 million views. 1 million what? 1 million two. Die, die, kill them all! Nice things must die! No nice things allowed. Oh, well, that was interesting. Hey, big tits. Uh, hey! And for many of you who are not that big of the X-Men fans, or even been introduced to the X-Men yet, those guys are the Marauders. They are evil mutant jackasses who, no matter how many times they die, they keep coming back because they're actually cloned. Multiple times. Yeah, that's what this game loves to, loves to do too. The reason why we have all these cookie cutter enemies all the time is because of clones. And it's, well, it's just, our main villain is sinister and he's known for cloning and everything. Yeah, but... Why do they have to bring that in in here? I just find it. I just find it a hard excuse. It's really hard to make a good, really make a good superhero game. game when it comes to Marvel characters because they kind of put it to where you might as well just give them a comic book and be like, "Here's your game." Because there's really not much you can do. You have to downgrade the character immensely, and everything is just like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but the whole clone thing I'm talking about has nothing to do with Deadpool. I'm just talking about just it being a cop-out way of just saying, hey, this is the reason why the enemies keep appearing over and over and over again. It's not like we have an army of them. No, we just have like maybe four or five different guys, and we just clone them. That's it. Well, at least they all have their own personalities. I fucking hate that bitch. Yeah, well, I'll give you that. I mean, if... No more heroes decided to do, go with that excuse as well, too. <laughs> then, yeah, they would not have different personalities whatsoever. Swear to God, if I have to hear those gun guys always say, Get in your jellies! I'm gonna tear somebody's dick off. Wow, someone's getting pissed. Seriously, dude. <laughs> no more heroes, too, and the gun enemies, you know? They always go, Get in your jellies! Get in your jellies! All the time. Hey, Ethan. But then again, jealous. that game has less of a budget than this game does. Hey, Ethan. Getting your jollies? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. It is. It, on lower difficulties, this game, you can just run through it within like an hour or two. And there you go. And there we go. Here's another one of my friends. <laughs> and you know what? I, fi I feel like I'm drunk at this point, because fuck, there is just no way I can lose. It's too damn easy. I really need a beer. And there's the perverted asshole. 
I won't lie. Character model, hot. Boobs. No, no, what? No. Hold on. I can help you get off that villain D list. This is a fact for almost okay. all animes we'll and all superhero right characters. Big tits, long legs. Oh, he had lots of guns. It's pretty. Yeah, that is pretty much a majority of a fem of a female design. But why? Because like, that's really just how it. I know it's fan service, but when did all that start? I would have expected when superheroes first came out that it would be like flat chested, short legs, like regular people. Because yeah. you, in the past, you would not expect this kind of shit at all. Yeah, a lot of them, big breasts and the long legs and everything. Yeah, Marvel and everybody is full of perverts. I, I won't lie, those characters are hot. Fuck, I, if I could go jump dimensions, I'd probably go to the Marvel Universe. Well, it's like... Before all this, you know, women always played, you know, the role of the damsel of distress. And whoever had it where the first woman superhero, you know, came to be... Now it's actually Wonder Woman, really. Yeah, pretty much when that came, you know... Women weren't always the damsel of distress anymore. Now, you know, they have the rights of, you know men and everything Thank like that so <laughs> that's when they you guess the they kind of went a little bit uh over exaggerated <laughs> on their female bodies a bit oh, yeah well I mean, trust me it, there actually are some women that are like this character who do you know have these types of feminine features and whatnot but you know every but you're right though like every single time somebody usually tries to create some sort of like woman for some piece of media or something like that if it's not kid related i should say you know they would they would always go for you know the big breasts you know the long ass legs and whatnot <laughs> i would totally do that right there <laughs> hey hot tits the pipe i was offering gives way more pleasure you know i <laughs> that's actually was, funny. I, <laughs> in my mind i was like you know what i'm just gonna leave you here yeah i'll just hang here i'm just gonna leave you here and walk away for the next two hours fuck call. you deadpool <laughs> So then I poop in the blood. When did you? After all your intestines and shit are all fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though I don't like the writing much of this game, I will admit there are a couple. There are a couple of uh, good jokes here and there, but they're so far in between. It's like if you want to enjoy them, you really have to play the game. Unfortunately, yeah, you have you... to go through all the groaners before you get to the good guys, stuff. Vertigo? Yep. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get into this. Uh, while we were doing the whole fight with the, that bitch back there, if you were able to defeat her without getting hit by any of her sonic attacks, not her, like, when she punches you, but uh, her aerial this area surrounding sonic attacks, you get an achievement for it. And you also get an achievement right here in this area if you can kill t the two telepathic sinister clones and uh, activate the switches to uh, lower the bridge within a few minutes. You get an achievement. This, I will say this, this mutant has like the worst powers ever. Seriously, is this supposed to disorient you? To make it yeah. hard for you to platform, I don't see it. It's st I can still see where the platforms are. And the, the idea like that. is that she is just a terrible character altogether. <laughs> I mean, this her power is just as effective as you know the damn. It's supposed to make you nauseous, really. It's not really supposed to do anything. Her else powers is a, as effective as the damn blooper ink spot in the Mario Kart games. Sure, your screen's a bit blackened, but hell, you have the map at your bottom screen to tell you where the hell you are on the track. Yeah, well, that's really, this is really what happens. In reality, in her comic book, she has like the lamest power ever. She just makes you vomit. She is Vertigo. She is Deep Marvel's version of Count Vertigo. Count Vertigo? For DC Comics. Yeah. You, he has a power to like fucking make you disoriented and all that shit. That's really what she is. She's just a female version of him. Who's and who's the lucky DC DC uh, hero to have this to have this Vertigo guy? Oh, well, that, that, that a lot of people deal with them. They most villains now do crossovers. I can't remember where he started off from. It could have been the Green Arrow, Batman. Those are the real people I think he would actually have been involved with. 
Batman already has to deal with a bunch of mindfuck characters like Mad Hatter and Scarecrow. I don't think he needs another one that's even worse than them. Well, I think well, Verter, I think he's like that villain that infects everybody's game. I, I mean, comic book that he's just there, and I just got completely fucking owned. What difficulty are you on? Are you just on normal? On hard. I put uh, it on hard since I had everything. Try hard. Yeah, so you just went for the highest difficulty just because. Yep. Okie dokie.